Robin today for your lunchtime story. Um, I apologise if there's any issues with this stream. We're having some uh, technical glitches here at the office today. Um, but I'm here with your lunchtime story. Um, today we have got Everyone Hide from Wibbly Pig. Um, and this was written by Mick Inkpen. I hope you enjoy. Wibbly Pig is counting. Everyone hide! Oh, what's going to be behind the flap? Oh, no tiny pig, not behind your scarf. Who is behind the sofa? Who do we think it might be? I can see a bunny sitting on the sofa. Are you ready? Oh, big pig! Isn't he big? Who is in the shower? Let me move it over so you can see. Who do you think it might be? Should we have a little look? Scruffy Pig. Oh, it's probably a good thing that Scruffy Pig is in the shower, although I don't think he's going to get very clean with that umbrella up. Who is under the towel? Piggies! Look, there he is, hiding under the towel. Who is hiding under the bed? Oh, look, this piggy is jumping on the bed. That's a bit cheeky. Should we have a look? Pig and twins. So it's the pig twins. There they are. There's one and there's the other. Who? is in the dog's basket. <gasps> Who could it be? Oh, Spotty Pig and lots of lovely, lovely puppies. But where is Tiny Pig? Is Tiny Pig up here? Oh, not here, not in the cupboard. Is Tiny Pig behind the teddy bear? Not here. Where else could Tiny Pig be? <gasps> Is Tiny Pig behind the cushion? Shall we check? Not here either. <gasps> There's no Tiny Pig behind the cushion. It's just a lovely ball. Is that Tiny Pig's hat? Oh, I wonder. Is that Tiny Pig's scarf? Shall we open the cupboard? But where is Tiny Pig? Where could Tiny Pig be? Here he is, and look, he's hiding in the back of the cupboard. Tiny Pig. He's counting. Everybody hide. There we go. Ooh, we shut the page. Oh, goodness me. And that is the end of that story. I have one more story to read to you today. And this is one of my favourites. And I found out this morning that it's one of Holly's favourite animals. Owls. So here we go. This is called Owl Babies and it's by Martin Waddell and Patrick Benson. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers and it was their house. And look, there is Sarah and Percy and Bill. And there's their owl mother. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's Mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my Mummy, said Bill. And look, he looks very sad. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. 
to get us our food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. But the owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house as they sat on the tree and waited. Look, there they are. One, two, three. Oh, I can see Holly's watching. I hope you're enjoying. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old bit of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. They all sat and thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. And the owls closed their owl eyes and wished for their owl mother to come. And she came, and look, there she is, flying through the forest. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mummy, they cried, and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. Oh, hi, Anthony, I can see you're watching. What's all the fuss there, Owl Mother asked. You knew I would come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. And look, all of the owls are very happy because their mummy has come home. I hope you liked that story. Um, I'll be, we'll be back again later this afternoon. I think Holly's got a special St George's Day craft for you and your normal bedtime story as well. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.